I'm Joe Day, and down Highway 14, on the way to Cerrillos in Madrid, is a small ranch, the Crossed Arrows Ranch. It's like some of the other family ranches in the area, with one difference. It's the home of Horses for Heroes, a program aimed at the transition from the military to civilian life by veterans, some of whom are afflicted with post-traumatic stress disorder. It was started in 2009 by Rick Iannucci, himself a former Special Forces Sergeant, and Nancy DeSantis. It's affiliated with the Veterans Administration, New Mexico's Veterans Services Department, and other agencies and support groups who refer veterans here. So they start with grooming and they work their way through grooming up to saddling. They learn everything from the ground up about horses so that they can be self-sustainable and that they feel empowered. It's not somebody taking them and leading them around on a little pony and saying, oh, you know, uh, how do you feel now about yourself? We're taking them out there and we're actually, they're actually uh, 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 developing that partnership and that rapport with the horse. Um, And the horse is developing the same with them. Absolutely. We've touched a lot of people who have actually come out here and and either come through the uh, the VA inpatient programs. So uh, many dozens and dozens of those folks have come through here. Um, our graduate bases were still hovering around a half a dozen formal graduates. Uh, my name is Emily Rush. Emily, you are a veteran. Tell me about your service. I served five years active duty in the United States Army as a track vehicle mechanic. I was stationed in Korea for a year, and I deployed twice to Iraq. And when I finished my active duty um, tour, I served another three years in the reserves as an intelligence analyst. This program, it's it's so enriching and so fulfilling in in countless ways. Um, I think one of the most important of which is the sense of purpose that it gives you. Last last year, I got to help one of our quadriplegic vets ride, and that was one of the most powerful experiences I've ever had. Um, and also working with the horses helps you. You have to be in a certain mind space to be able to do it well, and it helps you kind of leave other things behind. And what are some of those other things, if you don't mind sharing with me? Well, I mean, you can't, you can't be angry and you can't be tense and you can't, you can't be thinking about, you know, things that have happened elsewhere in Iraq or wherever, wherever it may be. One of the strongest bonds we have in the military is this incredible sense of community and family. And, and it's like your whole, it encompasses your whole life from the, the moment you wake up in the morning until when you go to bed at night, everything you do in between is saturated with this military culture. And so when you're suddenly thrown back into the civilian world, you don't know how to relate with people. What this program has done for me is helped me find that sense of community again. And I can have conversations out here that I can't have anywhere else. What do you mean by that? I mean, I mean, as an example, before I came here, I've met veterans from the Korean War and World War II and the Vietnam War. And we've had conversations that I never would have heard these things if I wasn't a veteran. And I never would have told them the things that I've told them about my service if they weren't veterans. And they're just things that we don't like to talk about with people who haven't been there and don't understand. So this gives us an avenue to do that. And what about the horses? (laughs) Um... The horses always know what is going on with you. <laughs> you can't lie to the horse because they, they know what you're going through. And that's an incredibly powerful bond. We're not counselors. We're comrades. And as such, you can speak to us in ways that um, we, we, there's, a, there's, a, there's a warrior trust bond there. Um, the cowboy code, which which they're walking into as they come here, they recognize as one and the same. How are you funded? We're funded by donations. Uh, for for the first couple of years, I wrote all the checks all the time uh, from my pension, from my government pension. Um, we've been lucky to establish some partnerships with uh, some public and 
private ventures. And of course, this is our first year we've been able to partner uh, somewhat with the Depart New Mexico Department of Veteran Services through the vision of uh, Colonel Tim Hale, the cabinet secretary there, who re is recognizing that there are several programs out there that are grassroots, but that are very efficient, very effective, and, and the best bang for the buck. Horses for Heroes has plans for a bunkhouse to enable veterans to live at the ranch temporarily, and there's a website bearing the name of the program. For KSFR News, this is Joe Day reporting.